Hello, internet friends. Ben here again, checking out the book, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind by Vishen Lekani. Lekani, maybe? I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Anywho, yesterday I made a cool video about how to get your first sale online or how to make your first few bucks or first a lot of bucks. And today, uh, I, well, I mentioned in that video that Oh, okay, people looking at me down there. <laughs> like, What's that guy doing up there? <laughs> Anywho, I mentioned in that video that you you have to be an expert at what you're selling. But I figured I'd make a video to clarify what exactly it means to be an expert, because people think that that requires you to, like oh like you need to get you have to go to school for your thing. Well, a little caveat: if you're trying to sell like medical products, you probably have to be a doctor. Anyway, um, <laughs> the same goes with lawyering and accounting and what have you. But you don't have to go to school to be an expert to, to get credentials. You basically just have to be able to get people results faster than they can get them themselves. And that's really all it comes down to. So if you're wondering, like, what could I sell online? What, what am I like an expert in? Basically, just think of all of the major problems that you can solve for people that you figured out how to solve yourself. You can solve for them faster than they could figure out how to solve them for themselves. So, for example, it could be sales. It could be management. It could be um, it could be accounting. It could be uh, it could be fishing. I guess it could be like what's that thing with the ribbon dancing they do in the Olympics? It could be that. I don't know what it is. But basically, you want to separate there's three big categories of stuff that people buy online there's the money niche the dating niche and the health niche so if you can fit your problems into one of those three things you're pretty much guaranteed to have a market so that's pretty cool although it's not necessary like there's people that sell courses and everything from speed reading to memory to probably bird watching i don't know the point is what you want to do is once you figure out the problems you solved, now you say, now you think about your process or your technique or your system for getting faster results, and that's the thing that you want to create. That's the thing that's going to make you money. So once you make that, then you can start going to the Facebook groups or LinkedIn groups or wherever people are and start putting it out there and saying, like, hey, like, in, like, in my friend's case, it was um, dropshipping tips, how to pick a niche, how to create a store, how to f do Facebook ads, um, things like that. <clears throat> so I like to think in sales terms, there's something called the gap which is kind of like where people are like and then to the other side is them buying your thing there's another gap that you should think about it's um, like the client centric gap I guess if that makes sense so it's where they are right now to where they want to be so take dating for example if right now it's a single guy he's here he wants to be over here which is having a girlfriend, maybe, or yeah, let's just say it's a girlfriend. So what does he have to do to get there? So step one, talk to a girl, <laughs> pretty obvious, right? Step two, uh, or step one, like initiate a conversation. Well, basically just to back that up, you reverse engineer each step. So in order to have a girlfriend, at one point you're gonna have to talk to a girl. So let's just say step one is approach a girl, step two, talk to her, step three, ask for her number, step four, go on a date, Step five, well, <laughs> you know the rest. Uh, but that's what you want to do. So where are you? Where are, sorry, where are they? Where do they want to be? What steps can they take to get there? And then how can you help them? And basically just putting that in front of a hungry audience for whatever information it is, is like the secret to marketing. And it's the secret to creating sales, well, sorry, it's a secret to creating a bond with people and selling stuff without pressuring them. Because 
you've already proven that you can help them and that's the biggest credibility that you can possibly have as a salesperson. Um, so basically that's what I want to talk about today. Um, another thing, at, well, I'll just throw this a caveat. I was listening to Evan Pagan yesterday, who is an internet marketer who's, uh, he's made like a hundred million dollars selling information products. And he says you want to translate your product into three currencies. You want to talk about it in terms of money they're saving, uh, or they're going to make, time they're saving, and work, or I like to think of this in terms of energy that they're just going to save, or like, anyway, if you could talk about it in those three currencies, you're going to improve the value because one, one thing about people is we have no idea how to value information. Um, there's people who struggle to sell an ebook for like five bucks and there's people like with the exact same information as another course let's say where you sell that same information for five thousand dollars and it that happens way more often than you think um it's just a weird quirk of the human brain and maybe the next video i'll make uh seven tips on how to increase the value of whatever you're selling doesn't have to be information, but uh, I think that would be pretty cool. So let me know if you like this video, and until next time, bye.